what was the purpose of the prophets before Muhammad, peace be upon him, if they did not give the full teachings of Islam? And also, why did Islam come to Prophet Muhammad uh, instead of, and not Prophet Moses or Prophet Jesus? This is supposed the question that what was the purpose of all the prophets that came before Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they didn't preach Islam? And why did Islam come to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? And why not to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him? Sister, the reply is, as I mentioned in my talk, all the prophets preached nothing but Islam. Even Adam preached Islam, peace be upon him. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Ishaq, Ismail, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. All of them preached nothing but Islam. Islam by definition means submitting your will to Almighty God. What your question can be rephrased, sister, that why wasn't the last and final revelation in the Quran given to Moses, peace? That can be asked. All the prophets preached Islam, but Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the last and final messenger. Because he was the last and final messenger, to him was revealed the last and final revelation. The question can be rephrased and can be asked that why didn't the last and final revelation came to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him? Why didn't the first messenger, Adam, peace be upon him, only got the Quran and the matter is over? Sister, as I mentioned, all the prophets taught nothing but Islam. Islam means submitting a will to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reason is, for example, you know, when I was a kid, I wanted to become a doctor. I am asking my mother, I am asking my father, Father, why didn't you put me in a medical college directly? Why did you put me in nursery and first standard, second standard, third standard, and then schooling and then college? Why didn't you put me in a medical college directly? There's a requirement that if you want to pass a medical college, first you have to do your kindergarten, and then you have to do your schooling, and then come to the college, and then get the grades. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself knows that when is the best time a human being can receive the message. I feel Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is most wise. He knew that if this message came earlier, the human being may not be in a capacity to assimilate it, to digest it. I feel Allah in his divine wisdom, he is the author of the Quran, he is the creator of us, he knows best when human being can receive it. And Allah thought it fit 1400 years back, this is the time when human beings can receive it, and that is the time he gave the last and final message, that is the glorious Quran. Hope that answers the question. Alhamdulillah, we've got some barakah in our time. So.